I believe that if we truly wish to improve our relations with citizens, we need, we need to actively engage with their opinions and with their proposals. We also need to respond to the demand for greater transparency and for simpler procedures in parliamentary activities, which may sometimes seem difficult to understand. During the present legislature, the Chamber of Deputies has also adopted a new communication policy, which has involved integrating the most popular forms of social media. The ECPRD, uh, that is uh, the U European Center for uh, Parliamentary Research and Documentation, is a uh, an international uh, uh, organization that uh, comprises uh, more than uh, 60, 60 uh, parliaments, uh, uh, European parliaments, and some international bodies, plus the US Congress. The aim of the ECPRD is uh, to make possible the interchange of uh, information about the legislative uh, uh, competences, work, and uh, parliamentary knowledge. The Parliament uh, is reaching out to citizens through social media because we, we want to reach as many people as possible and we know that uh, we can do it only via channels they use so we cannot just uh, print brochures, we have to go where they are that's why we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, on some smaller platforms. For example, on our YouTube channel 95% of our viewers of our YouTube films don't get there through our UK Parliament online channel they get there by searching for videos on YouTube itself. For us, the two biggest projects are our Facebook page with uh, almost 1.5 million uh, fans and our Twitter accounts, uh, which has more or less 270,000 followers in all 24 languages. We're still finding our way with Facebook. We've been unsure about how we should use Facebook. So over the last 12 months or so, we've tried a different approach. We've tried regular posting, We've tried to engage with some of the posters, some of the postings that we have back. We've set certain times of the week to engage with business content, certain times of the week to engage with perhaps lighter content, such as visiting Parliament or engaging with the artwork collection in Parliament. But we don't neglect other channels. We're also uh, very active on, for example, LinkedIn, because there's another audience than on Facebook. We're active on Foursquare, because this is the way to reach to other audience as well. We are active on Spotify, for example. Open data is a very important part of increasing transparency. There are some countries who not only have done almost nothing about open data, but have said that they're not going to, and they don't want to. At the other end of the scale, there are other countries. My own Britain is one example, Denmark is another, the Netherlands is another, Spain is another, you know, Germany is doing more and more. There are a lot of countries within the EU that are putting a lot of data out there. We're here in Italy because it's a hotbed of open data. There's all sorts of data coming out of the Cambridge Deputati and the Senate here. It's all very important stuff. So